Welcome back stampers. My name is Sandy Hancock and this is Utterly Awesome Stamping. Today I'd like to show you how to make this trifold card. I'm using the uh, Tropical Oasis bundle. It's in the mini catalog, pages 39 and 40. So let me show you how it opens. It's a lot of fun to make and a lot of fun to receive. Okay, so here are the pieces that you're going to need to make the card. The first main card, of course, is eight and a half by five and a half. This time we're gonna open it from the left instead of the right. The second piece is four and three quarters by five and a half. So four and three quarters scored at four. The length is five and a half. Next, we're going to need the layers. The um, Tropical Oasis designer paper is three and three quarters by five and the Pretty Peacock is four by five and a quarter. The last thing we need for this card is the inside white piece to stamp the palm trees on, and that is four inches by five and a quarter. All right, so let's get started. So we have our main card opening this way. Now I wanna show you how to make the little piece that fits over it. So this is the piece that is four and three quarters by five and a half, and what we're gonna do is take a pencil from the folded scored edge, you're gonna come down one and a half inches and mark, and you're gonna do that on both sides. Then this side is five and a half, so half of that is two and three quarters, and you're gonna mark it there. Now I love to use my grid paper to make my marks. It's so handy for measuring ribbon or doing exactly what I'm doing right now. So I just pull it down, mark inch and a half, pull it down this way. I don't know if you can see all of this inch and a half, and then we can just turn the cardstock this way and mark it right at two and three quarters. So there we go. I'm going to use a cutter that Stampin' Up! offered during celebration to people who joined the company as a demonstrator, and the demonstrators were allowed to purchase one, so I did. And it is so handy to have in place for little jobs just like this, so I don't have to get up and go to my big cutter. Okay, so now my points are cut. The next thing I'm going to do is take one of my layering circle dies and I'm going to put it about, try to center it. I put a little piece of washi tape on it so that it won't move. And I'm going to be using an electric cutting machine because the Big Shot, as great as it is, is too hard on my back because I use it so much. So now we have our circle cut out. So we'll take out our die. Just make sure when you're pulling this off, be careful that you don't actually pull off cardstock because of the washi tape. Okay, so now we've got this piece. We're going to run this piece through the coastal weave. It's a part of the suite, the Tropical Oasis suite. Okie doke, so here we go. And now I'm gonna show you why I did it in that particular order. Because there, there was a time that I actually did the embossing first and then cut. So you won't be able to see this really well, but the one on your left was embossed first and cut second. When you emboss, no, when you cut after you've embossed, it flattens the embossing. So I don't know if you can see that the one on your right has a little more height to it and is a little fuller. So you always want to do your embossing last. Cut first, emboss last. Now we can just attach these two pieces. So I'm going to turn this over, use my mat called a silicone mat and it's really handy because you don't get sticky stuff all over your working space. So we'll just put these pieces together, pull it down like that. Okay, so here we go. Now we'll just add our pieces, our layers, and I've already put those two together. So we can do our dot dot, not a lot. 
And oh, you know what? I think I'm going to add some more in the center though because we're going to be cutting some circles out and I still want it to adhere around the space that's cut. That may not have made any sense, but okay. Hello. There we go. This white part is going to go inside and that's where we're going to do our stamping with our palm tree and then you'll do writing inside of that too. All right, now this comes to the little bit of a fussy part of it. We need to cut, um, the circles need to go all the way through. Normally I would use a pencil, but this time I'm going to use a pen because the Tropical Oasis cardstock is dark and it's a little bit tricky to see. In fact, I didn't really get, my pen kind of went out on me. So let's see if I can get it. Nope, I guess I'm gonna have to use a pencil. Okay, that'll be fine. All right, so now we'll just put this down right over the mark and I'm gonna open it up, stick it into my cutting machine and when I'm trying to cut three layers, I like to add a separate extra sheet of cardstock because uh, we're gonna have to do this several times. That is a lot of cutting to do, but it's better to do it all at one time because then you get it all lined up and it's nice and even. So we run it three, four times. Let's see what we got. Well, we didn't get a lot out. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we'll just try it again. Not sure why that is behaving that way. So let's try it again. Normally I can get most of it out just in that, running it through. Maybe I'm not actually running it through like I think I am. Okay. Let's see what we got this time. Okay, we're doing better. Let's see if we can pull some of this out. Yep, we almost got it. I think I'll run it through one more time just to see if I can get the little tiny bit of edges out. This should be a piece of cake. Like I say, this part is just a little bit fiddly and a little bit fussy. But it's so much fun. Okay, again, really be careful when you pull off the washi tape because you don't want it. Well, I'm not sure that that really helped that much. So what I would do, I'm not gonna take the time to do it now. I would just take my scissors and even that up a little bit so that it, oops, this way, so that it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is create, if you remember, it's got a little scallop border around it, so I'll show you how to do that. So we're taking the very same circle that we've been working with, and we're gonna put it on some pretty peacock, and you can put the two circles, they're concentric circles, so you can put them together at the same time and run them through just one time, and this is what you're going to get. Can you see that? Okay, get that. So we're gonna put some snail on the back of this and add it to the front of the card. And then, and again, I'm gonna go back after I finish the video and I'll cut out that little bit. Okay, so now take another look and you'll see this pretty little trim this is made with a punch called the ribbon border punch. Can you see the design? Okay, can you see the design? All right, so this is normally what it's gonna look like. You would be using the bottom part of the um, piece you, you punch out, but this time we're gonna use the little scallop part. So I'm gonna put some 
snail. And then I will put, I'm going to cut this so that it's nice and even. Flip this over and add the trim. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I always like to start at the point. I think it works better. So start at the point and bring it down. Okay, and then we can go back and trim right here like that. Okay, so now we'll add to the second side. Again, we'll get a nice straight point to start with. Flip this over and add the second piece of trim. Trying to cover up the holes that show. Okay, close enough. So here we go, we're gonna trim that. Okay, so now here's what we've got. Super cute. Take a pencil and mark just four little places. You can take a good eraser and go back and erase that after the fact because we want to stamp <clears throat> the trees. We've been using Stampin' Blends an awful lot, but you're going to use Stampin' Blends to color images that have already been stamped. The Stampin' Write markers work much better to stamp on the rubber. So I'm using Early Espresso. I'm using Old Olive on the tops of the trees. Then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of Granny Apple Green. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of Pretty Peacock. You can see I'm being very random. Huff it. And now I can see right where I want it. So there we go. So when I close this, it'll look like that. Okay, then I'm going to take some sand, and this is from a stamp called High Tide, from a stamp set. So it's a little individual sand that I'm stamping in crumb cake. I also have a video on how to sponge clouds, so put Sandy Hancock into the YouTube video, uh, YouTube place and put clouds, Sandy Hancock clouds, and you can see exactly how to sponge the clouds to make them look really, really pretty. And then I put a little flower here. I did the same thing. I stamped it in Old Olive. I added a little pretty peacock and um, Granny Apple Green before I cut it out. And then I added rhinestones to these three now the last thing I want to show you is how to fasten this card together because it doesn't like to stay together. So what I did is I got these. They're called Thin Clear Fasteners. They're Velcro. They're very thin. And what I do is, you know, they're two opposites. So I put one on top of the other. I like the circles. Make sure when you buy these, you can get them through Amazon. Make sure you don't get the ones that have to be sewn on. Let's see, I'll do it this way. So I'm going to put one right on the tip, then I'm going to close it, so, and then I'll be able to open it. Okay, so let me show you the finished card again. So we've added rhinestone here, rhinestones there. We have clouds on the inside. And this, of course, I don't always put a greeting until I know who I'm sending it to and why I'm sending it. So I'm just going to leave this one plain, but I added my little flower. And this, I also have two more designs on my blog. Um, this is, let's see, I'm going to post it for April the 11th. So you can find uh, one card like this made out of the, uh, under the umbrella set. I'll have all the details for it. And I'll also have details for the lady, little ladybug. But today we did the Tropical Oasis. So have fun. Once you get this design down, you can use so many different sets and papers. You will have a lot of fun. So thank you for joining me, and I will look forward to having you back the next time.